Hello VAC fans, this is Bill from VAC Lab. Today we're going to discuss airflow losses from clean air machines. So I've got three of them here. This one's a wonderful red simplicity, 42 at the nozzle. This is a nice green Recar 8850, 71 at the nozzle. And this is a lovely blue Hoover Tempo Wide Path that does 80 CFM at the nozzle. Unbelievable. It's my least expensive machine and yet it has the highest nozzle CFM of any of the clean air uprights I've tested so far. So I've got my Baird meter here so I can show you at least um, one measurement. They're all kind of difficult to get because, well, you can't use a Baird meter here, but we can at least go and break one of the hose connections in the back and I can show you what this does from the hose. So, let's take a look at the back. All right. If you take a look at the rear here, the rear of the bag compartment has this connection down here. And this is at 114 CFM. Then we take the hose around this hook, come into this connection right here, which you can remove, put attachments on, and this is at 106 CFM. So that's only an 8 CFM loss to go around the corner like that. And that isn't bad at all. And then, of course, the rest is 106 all the way down to 80. So there's definitely loss going through all these nifty little bits right here and then coming out at the brush roll. So I'm going to reorient this vacuum so I can hook up the Baird meter and you can actually see this thing running. It should, it should show about an 8.5, which is 106 CFM, and that's with the bag installed. So hold on a second while I go and... So you can see, even an inexpensive machine like this can have tremendous airflow. So let's review. From the rear of the machine, we have 114, comes around, right, down to this connection here, that's 106, and boy, that's just, you can't see a thing. I can't see a thing. All right, to review, from the rear of the bag compartment, 114, come around the hook. We're 106 right here at this connection. And then by the time we get to the nozzle itself, we're at 80. So that's a loss of 34 CFM. So that's not too bad course we're starting way up there at 114 from the rear of the bag compartment. If I were to guess what the motor down here is producing, I might suggest it would be around 130 CFM from the motor base. The only real way to measure that is to disassemble the machine and take the motor out of the machine and stick that on the bench. But it is entirely possible for a clean air machine to have some pretty decent airflow. But, is this the best that machines can offer with bags? Nope. Wait until we do the dirty air machine airflow losses. So stay tuned, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.